have reached the Dutch national final where we've got six awesome players competing uh, for the title of Dutch national champion for 2023. Also, the top three here will finish uh, as Dutch team one for the World Cup and the bottom three will be on Dutch team two for the World Cup. Starting here in Classic Europe on a 70% progressive game. Uh, you can see the players we've got. B.W. Johan first in turn order, then Lernzy uh, playing as red. Ben Workshoe playing as purple. Open Tanya playing as green. Fabian Armada playing as pink. And Bertus playing as white. These are all awesome players. Uh, should be a very, very fun match. If you're not familiar with the bonuses in Classic Europe, they are different than uh, those of you that are familiar with Europe Advanced. They're kind of tough bonuses to take in general. Yuan makes a bit of a play for Italy, uh, but doesn't fully take it. Let me pull up the bonuses for this so I can go through them as we go. Gotta disconnect for a second. Hopefully it'll pop right back up here. I think it will. We're frozen up on the stream. Hopefully it'll come right back. Maybe. I don't know what's happening right when we got started, of course. Try to figure out how to fix it. Sorry. Don't know what's going on. I don't know why this is happening. Oh, welcome back, Mitch. Oh my gosh, that was annoying. Sam, tell us everything that happened. <laughs> Just explain it all. All of a sudden, Lernzy has 
Russia? Uh, the only difference that Lewis seems took took uh, Russia and um, everyone else just attacking one territory and combining stacks and that sort of stuff. Okay, just kind of getting positioning going. Yeah. But learns he's got a plus four with the Russian Empire there. In my opinion, someone should break it. That is a good play. Yeah, so we see a break from open there uh, of the Russian Empire. I don't think Lernzi will be too surprised by that, but... Nobody making big bonus moves except for Lernzy, it looks like. Just a reminder on this map, Spain is not a bonus. Uh, it's the part of the independent states bonus, so you've got to have Spain, Italy, and Scandinavia uh, to take that bonus. So it's a wild plus 11 bonus. Yeah. We see Johan move into uh, Lernzy's bonus of the Russian Empire. Well, Lurensi has a card there above the 13th stack. That's worth taking that position since you have that plus two troops on that mm -hmm. territory. Like every troops that you can extra get, that can be helpful to kill someone essentially later. Or take the win. Lernzi doesn't make a move to take back the bonus or reclaim in any way. Uh, moves a stack instead down into Italy. Probably. No, moves it back up. Okay, into the Balkans. Everybody playing uh, pretty safe early on, which you would expect in a final like this. Um, everyone wants to stay in multiple positions around the map, make themselves hard to kill. Um, and not make too big of a move that might paint a target on their backs to start here. Nobody with uh, great lines yet on killing anybody else. 
learns these two stacks are both on the right side of the board, has the least uh, options there to the left. Fabian moves into the Russian Empire. Does he move that stack back out, or does he leave it there? He leaves it there. Johan's in a nice position. Uh, got a position down the boot up in Scandinavia and then uh, in the Netherlands, basically. <laughs> yeah, the Netherlands. I, I think that's approximately the Netherlands. Yeah, that's, that's the Netherlands. And for, I think I've got a little bit of Belgium shit in the uh, territory, I think. Kind of shared in there. Lernsey does uh, build that external up in Spain. Uh, once that extra position, he's kind of got a double kill guard set up there uh, with Fabian Armada and Bertus uh, blocking off Spain. So a pretty good position there for Lernsey, right above my head there with that nine. Ben also with uh, three major positions and then a four down the bottom right that could help. In pretty good position so far. Hmm. Well, where that safety sit from open ten yards and it's in great spot since you can go multiple ways with that stack. Yeah, that seventeen's in a perfect spot there in uh, southern Germany. That could uh, work from any direction. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's a sweet spot. If you want to kill someone. But... Yeah, easy, a easy access to bounties there for sure. Uh, Lernsey will love to see this 16 stack as long as it's not pointed, it's not killing him. Basically, the only person that can kill Lernsey is Bertus. Mm, yeah. Although he has really good lines to kill. Uh, learn Z, but not enough troops. Everyone playing a pretty slow start here, a pretty safe start, uh, which you see a lot of times in finals. People are a little nervous, they want to take it slow, kind of get a feel uh, for how everyone's going to play it. And the feel for how everyone's going to play this one is uh, slow and safe early. We'll see once these card trades start hitting uh, what people do, but we're at, we're at the start of round turn four. And saying the play that doesn't have a trade on four might have trouble die. here. Yeah. Yeah. Learns he moves his stack down, he would also like that positioning to potentially go kill someone. Mm. Ben's stacks uh, in Italy are very close together. He could combine them, but he doesn't. He keeps them separate. He's blocking his path a little bit because no one will hit his ones for him.
Open just wants to keep that position with his big stack, pointed any direction he wants to go. We've seen no trades on three here for the second set of trade-ins. Mm -hmm. Virtus would be probably the most likely to need to do it, just from turn order. He does not, though. Everyone's going to hold their cards. They all feel confident they're not killed here. Let's see who trades on four. Johan starts us off with a trade on four for 20 troops. Uh, okay. Well, there's, there's a perfect line on white with ones if you go from the white 17 and then go down to the ones and then go to yep. 15 and then down A to single 14. path, yep. Yeah. Looks like he was doing a defensive trade there. Is that 58 troops? Let's see what Lernsey does. Does Lernsey have a trade on four? Looks like he has the trade on four. I think Lernsey needed it uh, to stay alive there. Maybe. Bertha still has that kill guard on him. He may be considered not doing it. That was... Is he going to take out that second position of Virtus? That would be wild. I don't think he does that. No. He just wants that center position like Tanya's got. Hmm. Ben Tritton. Yeah, so far we've seen everybody trade on four. Oh. Uh, Good game from Fabian Armada. He thinks Ben's killing him. Uh, no, it's not. An 8v6 can still. Got a great um, roll on the 8v6. Ben gets a great roll. Um, needed the 8 and then had to kill chain it. Then he's got to win a 20 on 14. Should be fine there. Okay. Just filled in. So Ben gets that uh, first kill. Put the uh, info on this map. Um, well, it's Ben does take a lot of time with his turn now. Or... Yeah, I don't think he could see anything else to do. He was trying to figure he out. Oh, he hasn't oh, traded? Right. Is, he, is he disconnected, maybe? He, must have, he did say he was going to have some uh, issues where he was at. That's going to be interesting. I think he's disconnected he... from the game. Oh no, he seems mad. Got reconnecting, insta disconnected while placing troops. Are you back in now? I don't know if he's in or not. If he's in, he just. They fortified randomly there, but. Uh... No, it's. Offline, okay, okay. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Ugh. Oh. At least he got the bounty first. Yeah. Well, it happens sometimes when that someone disconnects. Well, at least he's showing up to the game. Yeah, exactly. But I believe he was playing it mobile as well, I believe. I'm um, correctly. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he, he was. Is, uh, yeah, I was going to somewhere else, uh, somewhere else, etc. And I have to play on phone and dodgy connection. Was is what he said. Um, Fabian oh. is asking if Hanyo disconnected also. I didn't notice. I didn't see it. It's a wild start to the Dutch final. Wait, Fabian, disconnect now? No, I don't think so. Open Tenyo just didn't disconnect as well. He just took a long time, okay. Yeah. Nobody else goes for the bounty. Learns he's oh, sitting 69. on 69 troops. <laughs> Good strategy. White has uh, five cards. Yeah. Can, who can get that bounty? Okay, yeah, learns he can. What? No. Gonna need uh, some really good luck to do this. This is a 70 run, okay. Yeah, it's a safety run. I was like, I don't see how he gets this. But learns he needs to attack quicker. To yeah, so he's got to get run. all but 13 territories. He's left four over there on the right side. One in Italy. That's five. So he's got to get all but eight on the rest of the map. And definitely doesn't have the time based off of this, right? Yeah. That was not a uh, great play, I think. It's like a half 70 run. There's the Ben bot has a trade on three. The Ben bot gets a trade on three. The Ben bot might run the 70. <laughs> no trade on three. That'll be interesting. Takes out Lernsey out of Spain. Not fully, not fully. Okay, Tanya would like to get Ben's bounty here or yeah, he can, Bertus. What? He would like yeah, to get the can. Bertus bounty, yeah. So he's got to yeah. split off of the 31. Yeah, move 9 Next there. Nine. Yeah. Roll a 15 on 16, but he's got a 17 to come around with to clean it up. Let's sit maybe now. Oh. Yeah, he'll bring that he 17 does. around and get it. Oh, yeah, he gets Yeah, Yeah, he got it. And you get the five cards. He should easily be able to run the 70 off of that. We're at a 45 trade. That should be all. He might be able to get the bin bounty with it. Yeah, he can get the bin bounty with it, yeah. It's not an easy bounty because the bin bot's kind of everywhere. I think he can get it, but going for the safety percent is probably better. Yeah, I think it's the safer if play. If he's quick enough. So, good rolls. Got the six on three. Oh, um, he doesn't have the time. He's got to roll that third. He's got it. He's got to roll thirteen on ten onto a six. Okay, no, he's going seven. Oh, he gets it. Yeah, he gets the seventy. Tanyo got the seventy okay. and the bounty. Okay. Tanyo gets fifteen in game one. Ben with five before botting out. Nobody else gets points in game one in the Dutch final. Just a reminder, the top three after all three games here will be Dutch Team 1 for the World Cup. Uh, the bottom three will be Dutch Team 2. And the winner of this group will get the role of Dutch National Champion uh, for 2023. Hashtag feel for Ben. Yeah, hashtag feel for Ben. Ben did say he was traveling or something, so he had some challenges today uh, having to play on mobile. So, still got the bounty. That was a strange game.
So we'll go into a uh, fixed 70 game in Africa. Here for game two. Pull up Africa so we can go through the bonuses with you. See if everyone keeps the same color. Bertus went white. Bertus went. Yeah, back to white. Ben jumped out. I think Ben needs a second, maybe. Yeah, Ben's back in is black. I think Ben's gonna be black. I didn't see how he finished. But now we'll go into Africa 70% fixed. Uh, we will see how the spawn works out, how these guys play it with bonuses or no bonuses. Uh, we've seen a couple different strategies in the finals. Okay, Ben went back to purple. Thanks, Ben. Um, so uh, important part of Africa is how that spawn happens at the bottom of the map. Who has the most troops there and who has the most troops kind of in that central area that has potential to block the bottom of the map. It's pretty split uh, on this spawn. Lernzy has the most troops in the, in the center part, but it's pretty split. So we'll see how bonuses might work. Burtis works in just built. Burtis maybe has the worst spawn. He has a five down at the bottom. But I don't know how long that five lasts. We're rolling a five on uh, two, turn one from Lernzy and gets a perfect roll. Moves his six back up. Lernzy's gonna block off the middle of the board. Already taken that center choke position. Yeah. Tanyo gives the uh, questioning face. Open's got to figure out what to do now. Yeah. It's... Not an easy position for Open. Johan also did not span with anything down at the bottom of the board. Going to be really tough from that spot. Yeah. But no wellness and bonus yet, so... Yeah, that helps a little bit, but it's going to be tough to make any kind of 70 run down towards the bottom uh, with all of that spawn up top. Okay, Ben was one will make clear that he wants that bonus. Ben wants the horn bonus? Or the bonus at the bottom, the East Africa one. Uh, the bonus at the Madagascar. Uh, okay, yeah, the East Africa one. The six and gotcha. four. Yeah. Yep. So he's wanting Lernzy to get out of there. Um. People have kind of cleared out for Burtis down there in Southern Africa. He could have added there and tried to start working on that bonus, but decides to add up top instead. Yeah. He wants, th I think, that bonus with the two and four. Let's lift. Bonus. Yes. Uh, was that 
No, that wasn't a three. That was a one. Open and moved as three. Learns he gets Most out of the way. Does four. he get out of Ben's bonus? Yeah, he does. Yeah, that's nice. It's going to allow Ben to have that bonus right next to him, which is a little dangerous. But also, I think he would have gotten rolled either way there, if not, so... Open is just keeping uh, three stacks. He's got his two threes put together. He doesn't want to fortify them together for some reason. Just trying to keep that position potentially. I'm not sure. No, he fortifies them. Okay, that makes more sense. Ah. Johan hits a three stack of Burtis. Interesting. Ben gets his bonus. He's the only one with a bonus. And Bertus is mad about that. Uh, what? That's a plus four that Ben has there. Okay, Fabian is also a bonus now. Yeah, so Fabian also gets so gets the Horn of Africa bonus. That's just a plus three. I'll check to make sure. Now the Horn of Africa also a plus four. So both uh, Ben and Fabian gonna get a plus four sitting next to Lernzy. He can't feel super comfortable with that. Also got the two fives down below. Johan basically in one position now. Open has now fully gotten out of the bonus for Lernzy. Yeah. But the older players do stuff in bonus yet. Mm hmm. Ben moves a uh, seven yo, stack I'm... down into south. Ben not adding to his external up top is interesting. Checking out connections well, there. Learns he wants to know if that seven's connected to his five. And it is. Fabian takes Ben out of the top of the map. No, leaves it. Interesting. Johan definitely in the most trouble here. Yeah. I think it's uh, behoove Johan to take out that bin too. To take out one potential assassin of him.
learns he's going to go take this bonus. That's the plus six in Central Africa he's taking. We'll see just how good neighbors these Dutch finalists want to be. They're going to have to roll a seven or a nine to break them. Open filling uh, left out here. Everybody's got a bonus. And he's got a stinking Fabian Armada 6 and his one potential bonus, which would only be a plus 3. Oh, no trades. Trades a 4 trade on 3 cards. Just trying to stay alive. Open filling very uh, paranoid. Taking the 4 trade on 3. Johan needed that. Needed an early 10 trade. He can kill Petas. Yeah. Uh, no, he would have to get to the 5 down at the bottom, right? Oh, yeah. I've got the he, could, oh, yeah. he could take out uh, Fabian from that side of the map. But he would yeah. make himself very weak to do that. I don't think it helps much, so. Yeah, that bird is 5 at the bottom. Is saving Birdus for sure. Ah, Ben moves up into a stack next to his friendly neighbors. But as soon as Ben no cards, he has to break a bonus or hit a five stack. Mm-hmm. Oh, what well, it looks like now. Mm-hmm. And I, the 70 runs almost impossible for anybody that's not Ben or Lernsy at this point because of the way the map's blocked up. The 24 yeah. stack of Ben next to the 10 stack of Lernsy really cuts the map in half. Uh, Fabian want, wants him to move that 6 above, but we still have a line for that. Mm -hmm. Or 1. Yeah. Birdus just gets an easy take. Can't trade on four. Birdus must be... Gotta be killed here, right? Yeah. It's tough because not, not a lot of people have lines on the top and bottom. So maybe he doesn't. Oh. Learns he gives Ben a card. Uh-huh. Lernsey would rather that 24 not come through his bonus, so he gives him a card. Johan kind of survived long enough not to be the fish here. I think the fish is either uh, open or Birdus, but they both have bottom positions. Yeah. But fewer troops. But essentially it's going between... Um... Ben, uh, Lernsey, and Fabian, since they have a bonus, and all the three, pro two, all the three players do have a bonus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the longer it goes, they're going to keep gaining on him. And the difference will be higher if... Uh, the people who have no bonus and have having a fourth trade in and all the, and eight or ten trade in. Yeah. 
Ben's only in one spot, but he's got a lot of troops, so he's a hard kill for the five cards here. Virtus does not have a lot of troops, but uh, is in two spots, so a harder kill for the five cards. But I think it's got to be a Lernzi. Lernzi doesn't have cards either. Oh. Okay, so Virtus trades. And Fort's fine as well. It was a four trade? Yeah. That's also interesting. Mm hmm. Again, a, a very tightly, slowly played uh, final here. As you would expect from these top players, they're all just kind of filling it out, trying not to make the mistake, uh, but no one making a super aggressive play at this point. Hmm, learns he splits into two stacks there. Oh, just to move some more up, okay. Yeah. I think if Bert doesn't trade, Lunzi might have enough to kill Bert for the bounty, but I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how long Bertus and uh, Lunzi let open and or how long Ben and Lunzi let Bertus and open stay there at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, well, what? That was a big roll. He suicide and stuck on heavy on the Why? I think he wants to have that bonus, but Fabian doesn't let him okay, take so, that bonus. Okay. Yeah, Ben's gonna go get the bounty. I thought. Which bounty? I don't know. I thought he was going for the Burtis bounty, but he doesn't line up for it. He would have to, he can take the nine around. I don't know what he's saying. Doesn't, what oops. he's now hitting? What? Oh, he is trying to take the Johan bounty. But he doesn't. He's got to roll a uh, three and then a two on one. He got it. Oh, he gets it. Ben gets it just in time, wins the two on one uh, for the Johan bounty, and goes up to 10 points. Wow, that's so. Uh, wow. It was close. And he made it <laughs> so even closer in time because he really thought about it. Yeah, definitely angel dice there and needed it. Well, that was interesting. Oh, he still had his slider on. Can someone take <laughs> the 70%? No. I think Lernzi should be taking the 70. Can he chain a yeah. kill into it? I don't know. It would be the Birdus kill. Is probably what he should be chaining into a 70. Especially if he has or, cards on three. Or the kill on Fabian. Yeah, potentially. I mean, it's less troops for sure to get Fabian. Um, a little Unless... more an annoying of a path. Virtus now traded in cards, so I don't think that's the, the way to go. Yeah, it's not an easy path to kill Fabian. I think he just goes for the 70. No, he, oh, he goes for Fabian. Goes for okay. Him. He's got to go up and around been... and down. It's going to block him on some of his 70 pathing. 14 on 9 gets it. That's 5 points for Lernzi. He's on the board. Okay, Johan, I remember. It seemed like you were upset about the bonus, from what we could tell. With Bertus. Hey, thanks for the follow, MC Zachary. 
So. Learns he's going to stop there. He just wants to keep that middle blocked up a little bit. Hello, governor. Is that a Dutch accent that we're doing? Fabian feels a bit targeted from that game. That's interesting. Fabian is again killed now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's uh, not looking well for... Open takes a bonus, a late game bonus. Ben breaks Lernsey twice. Um, I don't see it. Can break what open with a two on one. What? I don't understand this. Um, it's it's not trying to save percent, but it also mm -hmm. doesn't try to kill someone. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's trying to kill uh, Open and Yo. Uh, thirteen on eleven gets. Oh my gosh! Only lost four on that roll. Fantastic Ooh. roll for Burtis there. Uh, getting the kill on Open. Yeah, that's about that's about as good as it gets. Curtis gets the kill, and it's high currently with Lernsey there in third. Dutch attackers advantage. Do they get specific advantage? I forgot. Uh, uh, remaining troops is nine max. How about that? Okay, let's see what Lernsey does him. That's a uh, good command, Ares. I like that. Wait, he can... Oh, uh, no. no he only breaks one bonus. He keeps the map blocked up, right? His 1511 are blocking off half the map from him, the other players. Yeah. Uh, okay, he's trying to get the safety... Uh... Mm-hmm. He's going to use the 5 uh, down low. I'm not sure if that's enough. He can't get through the 7 and 8. I think he had to add to that other side. He's got the 5 down low to get 2 more. But he needs 1... He's got a 1 and 9 on 15. Or a 6 on 8. He's got a little bit of time, but needs better dice than... Oh! Oh, does he blitz it from here? No. No. It goes horribly wrong for Ben there at the end. Ah. Uh. Yeah, he could have 2v1'd your right trunk. I think he missed the two twos. Not the two twos, but the two twos. I think he missed them. Well, better should try to kill Lernty or at least something around that. Yeah. Close. Uh, it's uh, a, he oh, can't, he though. doesn't get it. No way. He feeds. Ugh. So. Learns he's on five cards, so he'll get a trade here. And Learns Ben only has 29 troops. Learns he's going for a second. Ooh! Oh, wait. Wow. We have seen some unbelievable dice in this final. Okay, uh, super well played kill. by Bertus for that uh, to get that kill. That was tough from a bunch of different directions. I gave him no chance at that. The interesting part is he still um, doesn't have the troops to get the 70. And Ben doesn't have cards. Yeah, I think Bertus wins this in anyways. 
Yeah, so he's at 50. He'll be at about 60% after this turn. He's got two two on ones he can roll. He so chooses. Loses that one. What? Loses that one. Okay. Ben gets five troops. The troop count is he currently 26 yeah. to 24. He's got to break them, obviously. Yeah. He's got to take as many territories as he can to uh, limit how many bonus troops Virtus is getting. Oof. That's interesting. So we're at 22 troops apiece, 51% uh, to 48% of the board. Who you guys got one in this 1v1 here at the end? Ten points on the line. It's just whoever has cards first, right? And and what trades they get, I guess. So if Ben has a ten trade here, that might do it. Troop advantage territory. Yeah, I mean, it just depends. If Ben would have had cards on three there, I think it turns the tide a little bit. If Burtis doesn't have cards on four, it turns the tide a little bit. But Burtis should be in the better position. No cards on four for Burtis. Uh So I think if Ben has them on four, that, that definitely sways this thing in Ben's favor. Still depends if uh, the trade's from... Uh... And, and how much the trade is, for sure. Yeah. Wonder if Burtis had a small trade. I think he would have traded no matter what there if he had it, though. Six... Oof. Six, six from Ben, is it enough? Based off the dice we've seen so far in this match, uh, it's enough. He could probably win some one-on-ones with the way we've seen the dice work here. Oh, it's close. Two-on-one. I think he still needs one territory after that. Nope, oh, no. that's it. Ben wins the two-on-one, gets the 70%, gets the win, uh, goes up to 20, takes over the group lead. Uh, that was a pretty fun Africa map. That was maybe the most fun uh, yeah. final we've seen in Africa so far. Uh, played down to the wire there, ended up in a one-on-one -on -one back and forth. So going into game three, Ben Workshu at 20 points, leading the group. Open Tanyao at 15, Burtis at 8, Lernzi at 5. And Johan and Fabian Armada still trying to get on the scoreboard. <laughs> so those two be on there. <laughs> those two v one saved your life twice, Ben. <laughs> Well, some shit luck over good. <laughs> it looks like I, and... I can't read all the Dutch, but it looks like Johan is upset with Fabian Armada, from what I'm understanding. And Fabian Armada yeah. is upset with Johan, so. That should be interesting to see how that plays out, as they both set at zero points going into this game. Just a reminder, the top three will play on Dutch Team 1 for the World Cup, the bottom three will play on Dutch Team 2 for the World Cup, and the winner of this group uh, will get the role of Dutch National Champion 2023. So, currently, Ben is in the first place, uh, Open Tanjau is on the second place, Bert's on the third place, and Dutch on the fourth place, and... Fabian and Bjorn on the 5th and 6th place with 0 points.
I exceed fifth place. Yeah, I'm going to give them a screenshot of that. So they know what they're going into. So we're going into a progressive world conquest here. Very similar to the classic map for those of you that are familiar with classic map, except there's a few more connections. Oh. Uh, I re uh, restart. Restart. What is it? What was wrong? Oh, no, ready yet? Um, Fabian didn't turn it up. We got to restart. The Dutch really pulling an English move here for a restart in their final. <laughs> well, I think their hands are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're nervous and uh, sure. forgot to forgot to I think they play. were. Yeah, and maybe shaking in anger because those two were fighting also. So maybe that messed it up. But we'll get it reset here. Okay, so we'll get it uh, uh, going again here. We'll be World Conquest Progressive again. For those of you familiar with the classic map, this will look a lot like it. Um, except you've got a few more islands and a few more sea lane connections across the map, including Hawaii and North America, uh, the Philippines and New Zealand down in Oceania, and you've got the Falkland Islands in South America that now connects to South Africa. Yeah, this is one of the many versions of classic map. Exactly. Uh, the only difference yeah. in bonuses is uh, South America is a plus three, and Oceania is a plus three. Europe has an exit territory. North America has an exit territory. South America has an exit territory. Oceania has two extra territories, I believe. Oh, only Africa and Oceania is a Oceania is a plus four. You're right, Trunk. Thank you. Just weird to think of it as a plus four. What? Oh yeah, it comes. It's probably because that there's three lines, three connection. Yeah, that South America as well. No, South America is four lines. Well, still, everything can happen, so... Yeah, we still, uh, there's multiple people that can still win the group. Um, technically, everybody could still win the group, but uh, definitely multiple that have a great shot to do it. Yeah. Looks like likely Ben and Open are going to be on uh, Team 1. Sam, I don't know if your mic, you know, but you're like bumping it or something, maybe. It's like, every once in a while, so it's a heads up. Okay. Sometimes I do that and don't realize I am. Who you got here, uh, Sam? Who you think wins this? Ben? Feel confident with him? Yeah, Ben probably, but Ben is yeah, Ben's in fourth position. Green. I think. I can. I think I can get. Can already do. Guess who can dive? Who do? Who will dive first? Because of the positions. Okay. Who dies first? Learnty. 
Laurency? That Laurency has bash kit two positions yeah. and then one group in in the, yeah. the most less. Yeah. Interesting. He didn't add an India to try to create a third position. Yeah. We'll like see if that one stays. Moves, from purple moves that one, then Laurency is um, yeah. And I think Ben hits shit. that one. Ben knows too too well not to let that stay. I think. Well, yeah. Oh, well, interesting. Well, probably on another reason why he doesn't remove the one is that he does have a connection to the. Six street and three in Oceania part. That's his only path. Third. I know, I think so, Crackle. Which is fair, great, I think. Yeah, Birch is all over the map. Stick, so I think I like the the positioning from Bertus the most. Just because of the multiple positions. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't say anything. Also because he's going second in the turn order. Mm-hmm. Learn he still hasn't added to that one in India. That's wild. Well, yeah. He's just not interested in that position. Well, if he's not going to add it now, probably, probably someone should remove it. <laughs> Since Learn C does have any interest in that position, I guess. Mm hmm. Everybody but Open has the uh, has an Australian position. Yeah. And uh, Ben. Oh, true, true. Ben kind of does, but not a not a true Australian position. He has that Siam spot. Yeah. Okay, Lernsey does add in India and moves up to China. That makes sense. It's kind of waiting for that move. But uh, Open has the worst connection to Oceania. Yeah. He's in a tough play if he's got to go get a kill down there. Also, Open has not a great connection to North America, so he's pretty yeah. blocked off there. So Open has, Open has to kill Jon first, and then Fabian, mm -hmm. and then he sits in Oceania, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Johan also not with a spot in North America. 
Well, open is a good line on your own. Mm -hmm. Agree. Even there. So let's see. Yeah. I learned to finally put troops in, uh, in that position. Mm hmm. Uh, yes. Johan wants a spot in North America. That makes sense. I think that's a good play there. Adds to Australia to hold that position and moves into North America. And 3v1. Oh, this, the cards skip strategy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we see Lernsey card skip. Ben but laughs. Has a, Fabian laughs. But this, yeah. But do see has a trade on four? That's in question. Okay, so we get a card skip in turn by Bart Bur Burtis there. Fabian oh, everyone's also card going skips. card skip. Is it? Or everyone, is everyone going to card skip turn after turn now? I don't know how many turns we go here. <laughs> no one's got a bonus, well, and no one's got 12 territories. Well, well if everyone's going to card skip the turns for 10. Yo, card skip so well. Let's go for the next round. <laughs> Basically, nothing happened. Yeah, everyone just got three troops, basically, is all that happened there. Yeah. <laughs> and Bertus ends a hurry up. I'm not and we get skip. a double card skip. Oh, boy. <laughs> this. So this uh, will be a long game. We could go forever here. Another card skip. <laughs> No one's getting a bonus or has 12 territories, so this is having a net effect of nothing on the game, except that everybody's gaining troops, uh, but they're gaining equally. Well, if you are annoyed about guard skipping, you should hit the person who started first. I think with that's it. reasonable. <laughs> yep. Everyone takes yeah. out one territory of the person who started the card skip is a, is a good way to play it. Yeah, if you are annoyed about it. And do I don't know if we ever get skip. to a second round of uh, trades, Crackle. <laughs> I don't know if this game it may will never ever happen. End. The good news is it's really it's like ten o'clock, I think, in the Netherlands. So at least it's a little bit late for him. Oh, we're starting finally. Okay. <laughs> Learns he decides he's going to take a card. We get the double card skip, and then he takes a card. <laughs> <laughs> But this doesn't change anything, basically. No, I mean, it adds a little bit of strategy where you put your six free troops you got, because um, people could put them in different spots. But the net gain was nothing. <laughs> well, that's an interesting uh, game, I think. Uh, Fabian, Fabian has interesting lines here and then.
Who do you think Fabian's lines are? Fabian. Oh, Crackle still thinks Fabian's trying to line up to kill Ben. Remain, ben. Remember, Fabian has some bad blood with Johan from the last game. Well, at least something is uh, going on now. Mm. I think Fabian has married too much but it stuck in the I think seven split sticks are maybe too much. Where at? The four fives, the one four and then oh, ten okay. and gotcha. eleven. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, okay. Too many yeah, different stacks, maybe... I gotcha. Yeah. yeah he's the, in seven yeah. spots now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... Well, it can maybe be hard to kill, but you yeah. probably also don't get a good kill line on someone. Yeah, if you're going to play like that, you're hoping for a failed kill somewhere. Uh, that'll yeah. open up the map. That's kind of what you're hoping for. Yeah. Okay, so we get the 12 trade here by open. Uh, then we'll have the 15 by Johan. We are a few extra tr uh, turns in. We're not on turn five. We're on turn seven here because of a double card skip. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Why? Okay. So open okay. wants that spot in Japan. That's kind of his way to get into North America, but he's got stacks to go through to do that. It's interesting. Again, we've seen very slow build build ups in each of these uh, games in this match. Um, then the fireworks will come out here soon, but everyone playing very tight early. No stacks getting hit. Everyone's splitting into a bunch of positions. Interesting learns these uh, three different stacks down in Australia. Curious on the strategy there. Maybe back when he was thinking this might turn into a card skipping game, but I'm not sure. That was a quick turn by Burtis. Yeah. Um. Well. Oh. I was taking one card now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the second trades will be happening soon. I don't think anybody will trade on three the way they've set up. But the trades on four are going to be interesting yeah. here. In 
interesting things here in there. I'll open open us some good line on your one actually and um Hmm. There is here some trader now. Um yeah, twenty trading. Yeah, that might be enough to kill Johan for four cards if he did trade in. Who would have it? Open. Okay. Yeah, Open's got pretty good lines on uh, Johan. But it still depends on the stack rolls. Oh, now he gets Johan for sure, I think. <laughs> if he If he sees it. Yeah, he's got to roll. F if Open's doing it, he's got to roll a 14 and an 11 from a 21 stack. Yeah. But if he has a trade, he'll get the uh, four cards to get to trade in turn. Oh, he removes one stack of Fabian. Let's see. Oh, everyone's going to trade now. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing early trades. Virtus gets the trade on four also. You go for any kill. Well, Ben is now definitely... Uh, Jan is definitely in dangerous position mm -hmm. now. Yeah, with everybody trading in front. You see a trade yeah. from Fabian for 30. He could kill Johan. Yeah. I say it. <laughs> he can kill Yon, yeah. Also, ben. for a previous game. Do he see it? Oh, that's too much troops if he wants to kill Yon. I think, I think he's going for the Ben kill, maybe. Yeah. But still, only a 15 year up. 14 on 13? Yeah, he gets it. It's the Ben kill. Yeah, but he needs to be quick. I get it. Nice. You got it. Well done. Okay, so Fabian okay, gets the kill there on Ben. Yes. Fabian gets the first five points for him of the match. Moves ahead of Johan. Johan in uh, the standings. Yeah. He needs to be quick if he wants to kill someone else. He I doesn't have time, he... right? No time. Yeah. Oh, that's Open true. Is... Crackle did say Fabian's kills Ben during the second round of trades. That was back during the card skipping. That's impressive, Crackle, that you saw it that early. Open can kill Yoel if he sees it. Yeah, I think that's what he goes for here. You get the trade in if turn. Open it. If Open has trade on four. True. Yeah, we're assuming a trade on four because everyone else had one. That stinks when you're the only Otherwise, one that doesn't have a trade on four. Otherwise, Johan, Johan kills kill. Open. <laughs> yeah, if Open doesn't. Yeah, that's the negative of having the lines. Yeah. yeah. Open doesn't have it, it's very sad, so he's taking his whole turn to think about it. Ben will finish yeah. with 20 points. We'll see if that's enough to be national champion. Uh, would need things to fall the right way to get that. I'm not sure if that's enough. Yeah, we'll see. Depends who uh who makes a run here. Yeah, Yon's gonna kill your open, I think. Yeah, so that helps uh Ben's chances. Also, it gives yeah. us a three-way tie for fourth, which is interesting. 
trying to get his ads right here, but at some point he's going to have to do the attacking. Yep. So we see uh, Johan take out open for Johan's first five points of the match. Clouds going uh, in a tie there with Fabian. I didn't open. Oh, uh, open didn't have cards. I don't think he had enough troops to kill him without cards. Doobie J, he didn't have cards on four. Yeah. So open, or I mean, so Johan can get another kill, or no? You're on a hunt, gotcha. Yeah, he didn't have cards. Everyone had cards on four except open, and that sucks when that happens to you. On the second trades. Get an oh, oops from Fabian. Fabian. <laughs> Those two, I think, still have some bad blood from uh, Africa. I think Fabian thought he was going to go for the kill, uh, but he was just kind of setting up troops. We'll see if Fabian has cards on three. That'll be interesting here. Mm -hmm. Johan clearly wanting to get lines set up on Fabian last turn. Hmm. Interesting. Why learn to do that? Oh, he splits. He, he protects Fabian there. Yeah. It's a kill guard on Fabian. Does Fabian have cards on three now? Would be interesting. Sixty-nine. Oh. So close. Messed it up. <laughs> ah, Fabian does have cards. Interesting, learns he guards someone who has cards and now has more troops than him. <laughs> I think learns he thought with that oops that, that um, Fabian does have a trade on three, I think. Maybe. Fabian can't decide what to do. Well... Johan, well, Johan is interesting. I think Johan must try and take one card somewhere, I think. Yeah, his kill attempt would have had to happen on Lernzy, I think. Uh... Okay, he goes for the kill guard of Bertus. Uh -huh. In Europe. Now we have two players with kill guards on other players. Learns he has a trade on three. Ah, Johan gets the trade on four. Goes up to 164 troops. Has plenty of troops to kill uh, Learnsy. Yeah. Just needs to position but him right. Only. He just needs enough work. in NA, and then he could add the rest uh, to his 11 in Asia. Yeah, it just took way too long to do that. That's the right idea, it just took way too long. Yeah, it's right in. Uh, it's now above 100 troops. It might take a little bit longer <laughs> the game. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think Johan had to get the kill on Lernsy there. Yeah. That was a big mistake. What? Okay, Lernsy goes for the kill on Bertus. He's got it. He's got to get to the one through a kill guard. So I don't know how he's going to do it. He's got to hit the 19, get good dice. Does not get good dice. Doosbert says trade on three. Oh my goodness. Learns he really wanted that kill on Bertus. 
the top two from the group are already out. So the winner uh, of this game will come from the bottom four. Okay. Fabian is going for another kill. It's worth it. Oh, yeah. Fabian gets the kill of Burtis. The fed kill. Fabian up to yeah. eight points, and it's a kill on uh, Burtis, so he wins the head on head tiebreaker there, moves into third place. Um, He's now hitting sticks from Johan. Yep. But he's not going to kill Johan. Why is he. T what? Because Johan's the strongest player left? I don't know. Uh, he makes himself also weak at so Johan. Maybe because he's might... just mad at Johan and doesn't want him to win? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll ask him in post game. Well, Johan might and doesn't have enough troops to kill Fabian, or actually, he has enough troops, but he must line it correctly if he wants to kill Fabian. Yeah, he could take. No, he can't take that. He's going in Fabian. Oh, he's going to feed uh, Fabian. Mm -hmm. This is just some anger from the previous game, I think, uh, coming through what we're seeing here. Yeah. <laughs> no other way to explain it. He can go down and hit some of them. He can hit the 30 down and then <laughs> go up. He can get really close. <laughs> but he ran out of time. <laughs> he had the 30 left. He could have gotten close to the kill. He couldn't have gotten the kill, but he could have gotten close. Learns he's got to be feeling good about them hating each other here. Fabian does have the five cards, so Learns he really needs the kill here. I don't think Lunz he can kill. Um, yeah. Yeah, his right. 17 is stuck down in Australia. This Fabian is going to be interesting. Fabian's going to kill Johan? Yeah, he has to try for it. Otherwise, Johan. Kills him with a set yeah. on three. Yeah. Oh. Gets a good dice. Yeah, learns he did not have lines. I agree, Trent. And he had he his 17 attack. stuck. Oh, he doesn't do correct line patting. Oh, the patting. It's so close. He's got an 8 on 10 at the end here. One on one. No time for a slow roll. <laughs> to spend a trade on three. He has a trade on three. He's oh, he has so a trade Fabian. on three. He kills Fabian. Wow. If he, if he is quick enough. Yeah, I mean, the much easier kill is, in terms of positioning, is to kill uh, Lernsey, right? Uh, but he's going to kill Fabian because of their back and forth. Uh, I don't think... Um... I don't think he has enough time. Well, actually, he has it. Oh, no. He's got to go a little faster. Yeah. He needs he needs one to do one split. He's got a split. Oh, he forgets. Oh. He misses in Hawaii. Oh, he feeds, no. Uh, he feeds Fabian. Oh, no. Learns he gets to kill him. Learns he gets to go kill Fabian. Learns he goes up to eight four, or is that ten for Learns? Is this his second kill? That's ten, yeah. He's gonna take out as much of Johan before the kill as he can. Use the time wisely. The Fabian kill will set uh, Learns in turn here. 
So this makes sense. Needs a three on one to clean that up. Yep, gets it. Gets the kill of yes. Fabian. Learns he gets up to 10 points. Learns he now up to team one here with that kill. Learns he should be able yeah. to finish the win. And we'll get the entertainment value of Fabian and Johan being on the same national team now. After their dispute Oh, today. this will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> this will be fun. And now, that, now it will be interesting if they both VC with each other and then... Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, yeah, so well, Learnsy then... gets the win. Learnsy finishes with 21 points. 23 points. Uh, wins the group. Learnsy is your Dutch national champion. Uh, ben Workshu, Open Tanya will join Learnsy on Team 1 oh for the Dutch. Oh my god. How about that? Wild, huh? Well done. Uh-huh, I did not expect that. Were you confident the whole time, Learnsy? I was not confident, no. <laughs> uh, you enjoyed that Fabian and Johan wanted to hit each other so much there? Yeah, like, I've, I've had, like, five points during that match, so I was like, oh, they're gonna kill me now. <laughs> and then they just kept hitting each other, and then I was like, oh, okay, Johan wins this game now, Except, unless he runs out of time. And I was like, wait, he might run out yeah, of time. Yeah, he ran out of time. And well, then he missed and then the he, Hawaii, he, yeah. He didn't run, run out of time, he missed Hawaii. Yeah. So yeah, he rushed, me. so he ended up missing it. What's up, Johan? <laughs> Didn't I do this exact same thing in the semifinals? <laughs> I think yeah, well, so. I'm so the, the sorry. I'm so sorry. As I remember it, yes. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this is going to be something that's going to happen forever. <laughs> Back then, it wasn't me that took advantage of it, though. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so stupid. <laughs> well, oh you got god. rushed. You were running out of time, so you had to go fast, and then yeah. you missed that connection. Yeah. Yeah, it, w it was sad to see. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, Johan, what I, happened I with uh, with Fabian there in Africa? You guys seemed upset with each other. I I was really upset. I got stuck in the the left corner, and I had the one two in the right bottom, and that could, got taken out in the first round. So I was like, okay, sure. I have to split it in the top in two parts so that I have uh, two split positions. stacks. Yep. And yeah, well, I got kind of stuck. Uh, uh, who was playing white? Bertus, I think? I don't know. That was uh, me. Bertus. Yeah. So, uh, I didn't do it on purpose, but I had nowhere to go. I was like, oh man, I need to keep those two apart from each other. And, and Open Tanjo Green was moving on the bottom, so I had to move away from there. And then I got stuck by Fabian. I was like, man, I don't know where to go. And then... And then, and then <clears throat> and then Africa was hard. There was a, a complete block by Fabian, so I was like, yeah, now, now I'm upset. I'm going to attempt to take some of it away and then hopefully get back the next round. But that didn't happen because Ben showed up. <laughs> yeah, he <I> did. <laughs> so, yeah, I was really upset about game two. <laughs> gotcha. Thanks for the raid, Speedster. Um, Open, why do you think Africa was hard? Um, yeah, my spawn was tough. You terrible. had a tough spawn, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jane? yeah, there was such a tough spawn. Um, so after um, noticing that I wouldn't be able to get a bonus, basically, uh -huh. uh, my only option was basically to uh, prevent the 70 from being run, just defend. Yep. And um, don't try anything weird. Uh, there, there could have been some um filled attempts and then i would have been able to run it uh i didn't have the troops though so yeah. uh, i was just defending and then i was dead <laughs> so yeah sometimes it happens it happens right yeah sure i mean you and uh you had a bad spawn and also johan only spawning up at the top basically was was a tough True. tough situation yeah. right <laughs> um learns you want to walk us through your card skipping plans <laughs> that was fun okay so the first time i card skipped i was like okay i need the extra troops i'm gonna card skip so i can get more troops from the trade and then everyone card skips and i was and then the, the second card skip was literally just 
Okay, I don't want to break the chain now. So I just want to keep it <laughs> for at least one more turn. We were curious how long it was going to go. Yeah, no, people started getting mad, so I was like, okay, if I do it the third time, people are going to oh, target me. It was <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> I, I thought it was pretty funny, yeah. How yeah, long would you guys have... History books. How long would you guys have gone uh, letting Lernsy skip like that? Forever. Uh, until, Forever. Yeah, until yeah. the end of time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was just, I saw, like, I think it was, there were two people that started making angry face, and I was like, okay, I don't want to get targeted <laughs> by two people, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop card skipping, yeah, yeah. but yeah. I, if that if they didn't do that, I would have kept going for at least <laughs> five more turns. <laughs> I thought it was the most hilarious thing ever. I think we're in the history books again. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> for the second time. <laughs> There were uh there were a couple of late kill guards that you guys decided to go with in World Conquest. Um I think Lernsey did one and I don't remember who did the one oh, up yeah. in Europe. Yeah. You guys Yeah, just... I did not notice Ber Bertus was being guard was being killed guard guarded. I did not notice it. Well someone rolled through the kill guard at the end. I don't remember who it was, but ran out of troops. <laughs> that was me. Okay, that I was you. I okay. saw, saw it too late, and I was like, okay, I kind of have to go for it if I want the yeah, chance. Yeah, at that point, yeah. So I went for it, and I lost. Gotcha, yeah. That makes sense. Um, yeah, so I had a kill card on Lunsi in, uh, in yeah. Europe, and that got broken by someone, and that basically fed the kill on him, I believe. Right. Yeah. Um, and then in the first game, Ben has the technical issue, turns into a bot... Oh my god. Yeah, yes. that was oh, unfortunate. That's so, yeah, that's so sad. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Bertus, that was actually me breaking through. I was, I was trying to get the 70 run and I failed. Ah, okay, that was it. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh man. I like, I should the... stop doing 70 runs. I've, I've only <laughs> gotten one of them, and that was because the person before me failed, to, failed it. Yeah. <laughs> Just give up on him completely. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Learn, Learnsy. I was uh, uh, curious, by the way. In uh, in game one, you went for the uh, the Russia bonus. <laughs> and yeah. I, Im immediately, I, I think I was you know, I was even the next player. But in my stream, yep. I was like, no, nope, we're not doing bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay. Um, I was expecting more bonuses from the Dutch, but okay, sure. <laughs> not <in> um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were like no bonuses held except in Africa. Uh, ben held the bonus, and who else had um, that one? Uh, uh, I had Central, Central Africa, and I yeah, you ended up getting Central Africa. Fabian had one. Fabian had had one too. Yeah, so you guys ended yes, up doing yes, those Horn bonuses. Yeah, yeah, the three of us basically allied to give each other a bonus. Yeah, to take that southern piece of the map, but you guys decided not yeah. to clear out. Uh, the the couple of individual spots down there below you. What was your thoughts on that, Lawrence? Yes, I wanted I was to do it, but I, was surprised by that. I wanted to get rid of them. Yeah, but then I was like, I I'd probably be feeding the kill to someone, right. so I'd rather keep them there for now. You're yeah. right. Uh, I think Yo I think Johan could have killed me if uh, if you did that. Yeah, Johan had a yeah. shot at both Open and Bertus at one point, but they were yeah. both down yeah. there in individual positions, so we couldn't get to them. Yeah. Yeah. And also um, my, in... my first five cards in Africa were also uh, infantry. Oh, good. So I, tra I, I, yeah. So I traded my infantry on uh, three cards uh, because I knew if I have three cards, uh, if I have four cards, and I'm that low on troops, uh, Lernzi will kill me. He mm -hmm. could. So um, yeah. So I traded in the the two the, the infantry set. And then my next two cards were infantry as well. Oh my gosh. So you traded on three infantry or on four infantry? On, on three, yes. On three the first time? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we noticed yeah. the early trade on for a four. We thought you must be paranoid at that point if you were trading. Yeah, yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would just be out of the out of the game at that point, so. Yeah. <clears throat> what else you guys uh, got? For, for game one, because... I was playing a little bit conservative. I think I could have been going for it, mm -hmm. but I didn't dare to. And then I had a trade waiting, and then it was over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, I think I should have taken the risk. 
I had a lot, a lot of game, fun right? in there. I mean, in, Johan, I took the risk and I lost. <laughs> Went badly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah that, that made it kind of easier for me. So that that was nice. Um, but I I like the way uh, Burgess played as well in uh, in game one. Yeah. Like uh, uh, there was like uh basically two positions at one point, um, but because the the London stack and the uh what was that Prussia stack were connected with each other, but then I moved down one. Yeah, you had so a really good like, spot. What's that Bavaria? Bavaria? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Bavaria, and like that that split Burgess's uh, two stacks as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that right. Fun. Yeah, it was a fun game. Yeah, I I, I had a lot of fun uh, all of these games actually, even even though my second and third game, uh, I was saying like, um, yeah, I'm gonna die in in one or two turns. <laughs> um, I also, no sat on four in uh, in the last game. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, that's rough. That, that, that killed me. Uh, but I still had fun. Like it, it wasn't. It was still nice to see the rest play it out. <laughs> yeah, I was very surprised in when the top two players of the ranking list at that point died yeah. first. Oh my god! And yeah, we haven't seen that yet right? in the tournament. So, yeah, so the bottom players were eight eight five five at one point or something. Wait, I didn't so look any, at the mid anyone, the middle of the match. Yeah, oh anyone, my god. anyone could have. Gone in the top three mm -hmm. with a win. Mm -hmm. Anyone could. That that was so cool. Yeah, you were down to your final yeah. four, and any of those four could have jumped into the into team one from that. Yeah. Yeah. How do you yeah. guys feel about your teams? Lernzy, Ben, and Open, and then Fabian, Burtis, and Johan. Yeah, I think we've team. got a strong team. We've I got think, the best teams. I mean, I think we've we've got six super. Super good players. Yeah, agreed. Well, I agree. Well, I, I, think, I think all of the no, even Johan. No, no we beat the five. got me. <laughs> even Johan. <laughs> <laughs> now I was just oh, interrupting Johan because he was. Uh, he was uh, about to say five good was, players he, he and Johan. Yeah, who was who, who was pro to, Yeah, Johan was pro to my compliment. The interesting <laughs> part is Johan and Fabian will now have to be on a team after they decided to hit each other for two straight games. <laughs> True. And I'm the yeah, first in the team to have to keep them cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, oh well. A, a game's a game's a game, right? Yeah. Of yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I yeah, mean, I that happens within bit... games. Usually, you can get over it after the game. Yeah, I was yeah. a little yeah. bit sad about game two, but didn't have a problem in game three. It just happened that he was like. Uh, one of the last three players left, so I had to go for him. Well, it seemed like you guys got yes. down to the final three, and you both decided, since you both were in the final three, that you had to target each other for the rest of the game. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and Lernsey was okay with that. Yeah, I was like, why do they keep hitting each other? They can easily <laughs> kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I think in the, in the last game, uh, there were multiple... Um, opportunities for people to remove uh, external positions. From, for example, Lernzi, uh, mm -hmm. you had like a, a one stack somewhere in India. Um, True. And, and it was super easy for uh, Ben, I think, to just remove that position. Then you would have been in two positions, mm -hmm. no, which is I, super scary. Yeah. Lernzi had a that. one in India for a long time. He had a North American position yeah. in Australia and a <laughs> one in India for yeah. a long time. And, yeah, and and True. I would have I I would have had to do like three attacks, um, and I don't want it. an angry face emoji. <laughs> right, it would have been real obvious what you were doing then. Ben could have made it look very casual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so once I, I, I actually got my third stack, I was feeling so much safer. Yeah, which also was an advantage of me card uh, card skipping because I managed to get the India stack a little higher. Yeah, it did help you in that position, yeah. that's for sure. Lernsey, you had like uh, three stacks in Australia. You had like a three yes. three yeah. six. What was your thoughts yeah, there? I, <laughs> okay, at first I was still trying to intimidate people to uh, leave Australia oh, because okay. I kind of wanted the bonus. But at a certain point, I was like, okay, they're not gonna leave. I'll just. <laughs> They're already there, so I'll leave them there. Gotcha. And only at the end I started combining them, I think. Gotcha. Right, yeah. 
Well, I mean, it worked okay. out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you're you're the national champion. I want to congratulate you, by the Lawrence way. Lawrence is the Dutch yeah, national thanks. champion for 2023. Yes. Awesome. You're going to be in the Hall of Fame. He'll be in the Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame is open. The Hall of Fame is open. You'll be in it. Congrats to Lawrence. Nice. Hey, that would be the second Lars that's in there. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Lars taking over the world. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Man, I had fun this games. Yeah, it was really same. stressful again, but it was very much fun. Yeah, yeah I, I, ho I hoped yeah. for a good vibes, and I think we uh, we delivered on the good vibes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That Honestly, was a lot of fun I wasn't to watch. even expecting to get to the finals, let alone become the national champion. Okay. <laughs> now you'll have yeah. a, a big t target painted on your back, so good luck with that. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, thank god I'm in Team 2, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can fly under the radar on Team 2, for sure. Um, okay, guys, uh, the, the draw will be a week from today, so you'll get to see who's in your, your group for round for the seeding round. Um, anything else you got before we go? Uh, yeah, is is that an entire event like the the draw? Yeah, Will so that be a stream or something. So? I think it's at fifteen. It's fifteen hundred or seventeen hundred. I keep forgetting. Yes, but we'll do a stream for it. Uh, we'll do the physical draw in front of everybody uh, to see what groups you end up with um, next week. Cool. It's on the. Uh, it's at fifteen hundred next Saturday. So we will. Uh, We'll see where you guys end up and who your opponents are for that seating round. All right. Yeah, sure. Really excited. All right. I'm I'm very excited. Like this has been this has been a journey. And yeah. I mean, not not this hasn't been a journey for everyone, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, for, for, you guys have I played mean, a lot to get here. Of course. Yeah. 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 Getting, getting 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 got, eliminated. Kicked out and then came back. Right. Yeah. And Open got back, to jump back in. I'm in the team one. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's a uh, pretty cool story. We had the uh, in the U.S. Crackle was able to. To come back off of a tiebreaker elimination, also so creates a oh, yeah. even yeah. more special for you guys. So it's funny because I was the one who kicked Tenjo out of that in a tiebreaker. Really? And yes. now we're yeah, you team. were. And you both end <laughs> up on the same team. Oh my god! Oh my god! That, that's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Oh, we'll wow. see you next week. Yeah. Yes. All right. That's a uh, wrap on the Netherlands final. An awesome, awesome match. Uh, really fun with all these guys. Lernzy, your Dutch national champion for 2023. Ben will all join with Open Tanya with Lernzy on Team 1. Uh, Fabian Armada, Bertus, and B.W. Johan uh, will be Team 2 for the Dutch. We've got just 10 minutes before we start with the uh, Canadian National Finals. Uh, so we'll get that lobby together. I'll be back in about 5 minutes or so. So we can get going for that. We'll keep it going uh, here on Twitch, and for now we are done with YouTube. I'm Mitch on Risk streaming live on Twitch, posting on YouTube. Till next time, may your dice be nice.